Uh, welcome students, as I explained in my in previous class that uh, we will talk of the, about the other tillage equipment. Now, we will talk of those equipment like disc plow, cultivator etcetera. Well, disc plow, well I have talked of the disc plow early in the field. Now, here we can see that the, the different uh, items of these are the three point uh, hitch which is connected, then the frame, the scrapper, the furrow wheel and the standard uh, which are connected to each one of the individual ones and the concave disc. It is a concave disc which has sharpening, uh, very sharpening uh, but, uh, chamfered so that it cuts the soil. Now, types of discs, well uh, I have already told in the field itself that uh, the importance of the disc is um, with respect to its uh, line of motion is imp important where you have the the um, disc angle and the um, tilt angle. So, tilt angle which varies from 15 to 25 degree and the disc angle which varies from 42 to 45 degree. This helps in adjusting the width of cut and the tilt angle uh, helps in adjusting the depth of, cup, um, depth of cut. And generally these discs are made of steel and uh, they are in the, area, um, in the range of 610 to 710 millimeter in the diameter. These are concave discs and uh, disc is beveled or uh, the chamfering which is given about uh, 2 to 2.5 millimeter for better cutting of the uh, um, traces etcetera when it rolls uh, while in operation. Vertical disc, in fact uh, these are implements which are uh, attached, uh, but they are not very much used uh, here. We in fact use uh, about uh, um, harrows, we talk about harrows. And these are the implements which are used uh, with very large uh, equipment. But then we would like to um, show you that these are also there and uh, they are being used with larger equipment in other parts of the world, where um, several discs are there and they are connected at uh, um, uh, the angles, which is the disc angle uh, um, ranges between 35 to 55 degree disc harrow. Well, you have seen the operation of the offset disc harrow. Now, here are some of the disc arrows um, which I wanted to show you. Single acting disc arrow here, the soil is thrown on one side and soil is thrown on this side. Here, the soil is thrown on this side, the soil on this side. Now, here the soil is um, towards this and the soil is towards this here. So, that uh, then in case of this, you can see that soil is being thrown here, the soil is thrown uh, here and we have shown you the operation of these. Now, how they are connected and what is the action uh, we will see in the later one. Well, uh, disc uh, gang angle as I told you earlier in case of a um, offset disc arrow which is of um, very used many a times this uh, offset disc arrows are used in uh, orchards uh, sometimes uh, to um, clear the grasses etcetera or to um, cultivate the land in between the uh, crops um, you know, the um, uh, uh, horticulture crops or the trees which are there. So, you can have a look at this, this is the um, uh, angle which is the angle which is known as normally the gang angle which is about 30 to 35 degree. We have seen the center of gravity of this particular implement is over here and this is the hitch point to the uh, tractor. Now, uh, for a single action one, the single action one, the width of operation is given by this, the offset uh, in case of a offset type the width of operation is given by this. In fact, it comes from the geometry of that. This has been calculated from the geometry of the whole uh, uh, implement and then you should be in a position to use this whenever it is required for finding out the total force requirement. For tandem uh, type, uh, the value is uh, something like this where um, W is the width of cut, N is the number of disc, uh, disc spacing and uh, S is the disc spacing in millimeter, D is the diameter of disc in millimeter. So, keeping in view these uh, units and the formulae that we have um, uh, found out, you can find out the total um, uh, draft requirement. Yes, and a problem is given on the, uh, this particular uh, um, uh, offset disc arrow, uh, it is um, on a single acting disc arrow, sorry. Calculate the total width of a single acting disc arrow having uh, gang angle 30 degree total number of disc 14, disc spacing and disc diameter. Now, when you use this equipment, you have to always think of which particular formula to be used and what are the units, because if you do not get the units right 
definitely you are not going to get the correct answer for this. So, if you use this um, this um, width here, you can get the value about this much. Then field capacity can be used with width and the speed of operation. So, field capacity works about to be so much and if the there is another portion which you have seen that calculate the volume the soil handled per hectare by the hero at a working depth of 3.5. So, if this is the depth of operation is known then you can find out the total volume of soil handled which is about 980 meter cube per, um, per hour. So, accordingly you can find out uh, that this is the um, depth of operation. Now, this is given only to understand uh, you can better understand the, the, different, the implement and its uh, action how it acts in the field and what are the forces. Uh, which are acting and what is the power which can be uh, generated or required for operation of these. Forces on a um, disc arrow, well um, offset disc arrow um, uh, for uh, offset disc arrow this is important we have also made here and I wanted to show you that when this is the um, uh, tractor here and in this tractor well. Uh, one thing, one thing which I would like to show you is, is the um, we know that uh, from here to here is the uh, wheel base, wheel base, and this to this is known as the wheel trade. This is known as wheel trade. Wheel trade. Now this distance keeps on varying, and uh, this is um, varying from 48 uh, inches to uh, 76 inches. Uh, Although um, this is provide this provision is there in all the tractors, but uh, generally farmers are uh, not doing it uh, for the simple reason that they do not have uh, the equipment which are to be um, which, which, um, which are to be used in different uh, so row to row to spacing of the crops, and uh, so this is not used. But then for the academic purpose, I think it is worth knowing about uh, this part. Well. So, in the, in the disc arrow here you can see that the uh, a pair of disc arrow is over here and we can see that uh, the hitch point is this is the hitch point through the tractor and the this is one gang and this is another gang it is offset this is this point at which CG is there and the same the from the center of the first front uh, gang it is at a distance of B and the rear gang at descent of D. Now, the offset if if this, this line is it, if it is in this line then the force acting is P H here uh, P H is the force along the line of pull. Now, P X is horizontal component of pull. Now, this P X uh, in case there is an angle alpha that means when there is no side draft alpha is equal to 0, but when there is side draft this P X comes into uh, picture. So, when this uh, side draft uh, is not there it is simply we can take that this is pH here and the offset uh, when when side draft is present this offset is like this and when side draft is not present the offset is given by this particular equation where uh, the T is uh, talking of this T should be um, lateral component of the force side um, uh, side force or front and real gang in queries for it talks of T f and T r uh, this should have been uh, now similarly D, D is the longitudinal distance between the center of two gangs this is the distance D over here and D f and D r, D f and D r is the longitudinal component of force of front and rear this talk of the front and rear. Now, this T uh, this uh, in fact, uh, because when it is alpha is 0 here that it will be T r. So, it will be T r here which is the lateral component of the force on the rear gang right. So, this is the mechanics of the um, uh, forces on the disc arrow is the mechanics of forces on disc arrow and it will be important that if we take up a problem on this and then understand let us see if we can have. Yes, so we can have a problem on that, and here uh, there is no uh, angle alpha is not there, uh, which was discussed over there, and here itself also 
this T r. So, um, we can use the you know, equation which was given earlier and we can find out the offset values uh, which is up to this. Now, these, these um, uh, um, problem will help you to better understand what is an offset disk arrow. Now, from the academic point of view as well as when you want to design, when you want to design for a particular uh, um, power source or when you want to have a matching implement designed for a particular power source or when you want to have a number of implements required for a large area where certain power sources are already available and you want to get these uh, to be connected or uh, to be procured for better mechanization of that particular farm. Then these will be required, this information will be definitely required for you. Well, um, cultivator. Now, this is a uh, secondary uh, tillage implement. It, uh, you have seen already the operation of this and uh, um, uh, in the field, uh, the shovels are here. In fact, in fact, these are the um, shovels which are there. Then the toolbar spring type of cal calculator, which these are the springs which are there and the rigid type of um, rigid time. Uh, the rigid time which uh, I had shown you in the uh, in case yeah this is the um, this is the rigid time and this is the um, spring time. Now, duck um, food type of cultivator now here this is this is a sweep type here and uh, the um, this, this, this is known as the sank on which these uh, small uh, uh, shanks uh, no these are small tools cutting tools are uh, shovels or cutting tools are attached. We will see what are the different types of these because um, different cultivators have been used for different types of operations. But then many a times uh, this cultivator is used for a primary tillage implement. Now, we will have a look at those different types of these small elements. Yes. So, these are the different soil engaging tools of a cult, cult, cultivator is half sweep, full sweep, um, double point shovel, then a single point shovel, the furrow type. Now, these are the ones which are generally used on that depending upon the type of the requirement in the uh, uh, in the shanks of those uh, tools. Well, uh, when a particular uh, type of uh, element is used, what is the soil zone? Hmm, what is The soil operating zone of the cultivator, you can see that if this is the type, what is the soil zone it will affect. So, you can see that the total soil zone, if these are two consecutive times, so the total zone is in the distance between this to this T0, this is the distance, and this T0 is given as T0 is equal to twice A max plus B0 plus delta T. Delta T is the uh, distance uh, which is 2 to 5 centimeter for the shovels and about 0 to 5 centimeter for the sweep type. Now, this will be important when you want to find out the total width of the uh, um, implement with respect to this spacing between two tines and B0 width of the sweep, A max maximum depth of operation, these are all details which are given over here. So, this will help you in finding out the total width of the implement. Uh, when a cultivator with these uh, uh, operate total operating zone when it is connected with these small tines. Yes, another uh, a, a small uh, problem is given which will help you to understand how we can find the total uh, cultivator uh, op opening zone or how we can find out the total width of that uh, furrow which has been operated or which has been cut 
by the um, small elements which are connected to the cultivator. Uh, the details are given over here. A nine tail cultivator, well, um, uh, another uh, problem which has the similar uh, um, values which can be used, and you can find out the you can find out the t zero over here. And it's it's very simple problem. Once you go through this, you will be in a position to um, put those values and uh, get the answer. Thank you.